Uh, but I think in general, Armlet is just way stronger than the Vanguard right now. Bulldog, this is a really bad kill if he gives it up, and they are moving on to him. Goes for the Sprout, catches up Soneko, the crush is on two. Floda was ready for it. Navi overextending to give both up. Alliance spring the traps. Marshalling his forces. Roshan still at around half HP. Sentry outside the pit, though. Good scout Soneko. There's the blink initiation. Drags Loda up onto the cliff, keeping the Slardar out of this picture for a long time. Loda won't be able to contribute much, and that will put a pretty big halt to the Roshan now the MP Tornado following this one up with the counter Tornado comes out from EGM. Bulldog's trapped and sprouts himself inside the pit, looks to run away. Arcsile cancels that. First track kill that came to Navi and the whole team's here in Loda is still completely a non-factor of this fight. It begins with the general bat after an awful start. They look to steal the road while also killing the big fish. They've gotten three. They've gotten a four hero track kill and now it's Navi trying to snatch an Aegis right away from Alliance who double buyback to prevent this. Navi. Navi taking them and about even trying to go for themselves, Loda. Got to be careful here. It would be a 13-minute dieback if General grabs him. He goes for EGM, though. Loda's going to have to pursue him out, but the wolves surround him. That's a track kill again. Navi finding big kills here. The gold is going to add up. Rather rapidly at that, they've now tracked Loda. They're just waiting for that crush to come out before they fully commit, but he's getting cold snapped down into submission. Navi have gotten a second kill. Now they want to disengage as Ford chases forward on the Dendi. We'll find the counter kill here. They might get the Lycan as well. Arxile burning to the Sunray. Ake okay, should be able to finish him off. That's going to be a two for two with Navi getting track kills. I say that four Navi heroes are moving forward. They are going to look to contest this. Not even a flame break available. Tower going down freely to the Radiant. They're just so hell-bent on this Roshan who claps Alliance. He is displeased with the number of occupying forces. This is my pity, says, get out of here. They're trying to heal him up. There's the Sunray from Ake, but Navi converge on it. There's the swoop through, trying to jump forward. General leaping into the pit. S4 is going to grab the Aegis. It is the dire last hit, so so far, so good for Alliance. At long last, they get that rose, but they lose Loda again. Out for 40. It's up to S4 to turn this. He gets swapped back in the rest of the team. Navi didn't seem to be expecting as They were all heading the other way, but they cracked the Aegis. They move forward. Do they chase for additional kills? They're very low at this point. And S4, he's angry with how things have gone. Blinks up onto the high ground. Shadow strikes Dendi. Looking for the follow-up kills here. Two have fallen. So they get more. Bulldog chases. Stops the Midas to creep. And that'll be that. Quickly to continue team fighting because of the bounty hunter and Lycan. I think it'd be Navi be well show, justified. Showing two mid wall simultaneously coming on the top side and they lasso S4. He generally actually drags himself back into Loda, who gets off the crush, trying to rev up for the Sonic Wave, but he's totally chain stunned. Locked down. Loda next. Loda will fall. That is two gigantic kills for Navi, who also managed to take down the tower mid in the under a dire sentry. And Alliance are going to immediately smoke and move in. They're looking for the jump here. Who do they get first? Loda whip on the crush to start this thing off. And now General going for the deep last one. S4, can they burst the Mechweed of Pain? It's so important. He chucks out the ult, but it's as he dies with his last breath. They're already down to Queen of Pain and a Phoenix. They've gotten nothing out of this fight so far. And Alliance losing three in the end. Now what does he see? He sees Bulldog. Four step into a swap. POTs are coming. Bulldog four steps himself right into the waiting arms of the general, who promptly complies by lassoing and almost killing, though. He is going to get the kill in the end. Dendi, though, is in a bit far. Yule steps around to the Queen of Pain. and Echoes arrive. Reinforcements coming in. Hard and fast for Navi. Charging towards S4. They kill off the egg. They kill off S4. They move on the Lola. They're mowing them down. Alliance drop four. It's a wipe. Navi just completely wrecking them. You could not leave a like an unchecked like that in a team fight with especially not for the Alliance fans But it is happening and whether you try to cover your children's eyes or not and Navi continue to make things happen The BKB debut the last is on S4. Can they get that kill as well? Like it chopping at him, but can't finish him off there Pretty good counter initiation from the Phoenix of Ake to hang on and look to turn this fight still though He holds the ages Alliance need a lot more than just a bounty hunter kill to really turn this game around They desperately race through the trees. They're looking for that bat, but he escapes to the north he roams He TPs and he is gonna make it out. That's all they get after all that a sick play by Ake and that's them a bounty hunter kill and they still have the Aegis. And they're Lycan. actually going, they're going in high ground into this. Alliance feeling like borderline desperate at this point. Creeps are actually hitting tier four towers. 
They're committing hard to this push, but Navi are ready for it. Archstyle engaging forward. Loda trying to set set up the follow-up here to the Queen of Pain ult that comes in. Diving pretty far for this one, but Ditya Ra just auto-attacking in regular werewolf form is going to get the kill. Esper almost dies to his claws. Ake's there. So much delicious food, but Gemral's in too deep. He will end up dropping. Bulldog looks to try to away. It's like an ult number two, and he's off to the races here. Can Alliance TP out? Who's got one? They're all going to need him. EGM has one, but he can't even get it off as he's about to fall to the wolves. They munch him up. They kill off the bird, too. Alliance just can't handle Ditya Ra beyond godlike. Rubik will buy his own gem. And General Hunt, he gets Loda, drags him in again. It's another track kill, but Navi don't need gold. They just need dead bodies to litter this map so they can wipe EG Alliance and the rest of them off. And they get the second kill here. Rubik down, already bought the gem, doesn't have to buy back. Loda buys back, but he only crushes Suneko, and it feels like this is how it ends for Alliance. Not with a bang. This is a whimper. This is ugly. Even a Sunstrike massacring Alliance, running them down. This is not family friendly at all, and there it is, GG. You get a 2-0, and you got to give credit to Navi. They they had an entire game plan built around the bounty hunter track gold, and they.